Hello, thank you for joining me here this evening on the channel. I'm Sean. Um, so this evening I wanted to uh, go over some of the blades that um, I have used when camping, hiking, or even stealth camping. Um, I've had questions and several individuals while I'm out has asked me about these blades and uh, I've told them, you know, these are personal preference blades, you know, the, what you see here may not work for everyone. Um, you may uh, be familiar with a couple of them and I've seen them before. Um, I have uh, uh, one that's primarily coming from the uh, PKS, which is Dave Canterbury's uh, Pathfinder store. It's uh, located here locally. Um, that's the OPKS Mountaineer. Um, and then again, all these blades are excellent um, wood processing blades. Um, so uh, getting wood processed for fire or anything that you might be uh, getting the process for um, steaks or uh, just, you know, in general, doing some woodwork out in the field to keep yourself from being bored. Because sometimes going out, uh, you can get bored. So you have to find something to do. If it's not exploring and walking through the woods and checking out other areas, it's sitting at a campsite, beating up on some wood with one of these knives. And they're all very, very good knives. So uh, these are some of them. I wouldn't carry and have not carried all of them all at once with me. I have picked and choose which ones at times I needed out with me. I do have my favorites, so we'll go over the pros and cons of which is my favorite. And as far as cons is concerned, uh, there's not many cons to these knives. Uh, they are very, very good, excellent blades. Um, you can't go wrong. You just can't. I can't see it. Uh, anybody who can go wrong or can find a con to it, uh, to these blades, uh, put it down in the comment section and let me know what you think. But uh, without further ado, I do have my cheat sheet here because it's a lot of information. I got a lot of information on each one of these blades. Just can pluck it right off the top of my head and give it to you. So I'm going to refer back to my little cheat sheet here on each one of these blades and give you, you know, my thoughts and uh, show you what these blades are uh, constructed of and yeah and uh, give you a, uh, what I think about them. So to start it off we'll go ahead and start with the uh, the Schrade SCHF 28. This is a very hefty very solid blade. Uh, this blade serves two purposes. Um, when I first got this blade some years ago and got it in my hand, I immediately felt and it screamed out, chop, chop. So this is a good blade outside of carrying an actual ax. Um, if you're chopping uh, wood for a fire, pretty much basically that's what you would be doing. So the dimensions on a, on a piece of wood that you're chopping may be about three or four inches thick. And then you're gonna chop that down to uh, smaller pieces of wood for fire. Um, this blade can get that job done. Uh, this is a high carbon stainless steel blade. Uh, it is coated with Teflon to help uh, protect it from rust and uh, any corrosion that might uh, um, you might have problems with with other knives. It is a stainless steel Bowie style knife, a full tang. So full tang, for those of you who don't know what it means, full tang is you got metal from the butt to the tip, which gives it a lot of strength. It gives, as a matter of fact, it gives it all its strength. Um, so quickly, this is an eight inch blade, a TPE handle. Uh, the handle on this is very, very ergonomic and it gives you a good grip. You get a good grip on that blade, on that handle when you when you grip it. Um, it uh, it's a nylon fiber uh, 
uh, has a nylon fiber sheath that goes with it. Like I said, it's a full tang. It is a titanium coated um, blade, 8CR13 Mo V. Uh, it has jimping on the spine so that you're able to do more fine detailed work at a campsite. Um, jimping right there on the spine there, as you can see that. And a chole right here. So you get your fingers down in there and then you can do fine woodwork uh, like uh, feather sticks or uh, you're making uh, stakes. Uh, if you happen to leave your stakes to your tent, which I've seen people do that. And I said, no, have no fear. I can get your stake. And, uh, you, you know, cut out a stake from a piece of wood. Um, uh, the weight of this blade is 20.8 ounces. The blade length is eight inches long. Overall, you got 14 inches worth of chop me. Uh, the thickness on the blade is a quarter of an inch thick. And uh, better known, this blade has better known as the Little Ricky. Uh, it does have a big brother. Uh, I can't remember what the name of the, one, the other one is. But uh, this is the SCHF 28 from Schrade. Uh, very, very good knife, very good knife. Um, I've had this out in the field and I've, uh, I've chopped uh, trees down that were around, I'd say six inches in diameter, small trees um, and chopped down branches and processed wood for fire with this blade. So if I, for some reason, forgot my ax and I knew this blade was in my backpack, uh, I was not worried because uh, I knew I can get the job and the task done with this. Now, it does have a nylon fiber sheath, okay? It's not the greatest sheath in the world, but this sheath does what it's supposed to do. It protects the blade. Um, I have uh, taken the liberty of upgrading this sheath with some paracord because you never know when you might need some paracord to tie something down or something on your, your kit breaks and you need to tie it down also has a survival whistle so I just put it right there in the uh, on the sheath um, and on the inside underneath this paracord uh, I have a sub, uh, a survival kit consisting of uh, waterproof matches some tinder and some uh, needles uh, for sewing a little sewing kit things of that nature so um, yeah um, this is a very stiff very hard uh, sheath so it does the job it's supposed to do and that's protect this blade uh, as it goes in there you have a velcro strap that uh, secures the blade once it's in there and uh, once it's in there this blade is not coming out I mean I'm shaking that really really hard and with that Velcro uh, strap across the uh, handle here. This blade is not coming out. So there's your uh, Schrade SCHF 28. Now, uh, another blade that I have grown to uh, like and I've had for several years now. Let me go flip my sheet here. Uh, this is the Mora Bushcraft Black. Uh, this is an excellent blade. Um, it has a fur sim rod for uh, uh, getting fire started. Uh, blade here is a 3.2 millimeter inch blade, high carbon steel, black polymer handle, DLC coated. So any of you are familiar with Mora knows that the quality, high quality of these blades there you go. Uh, has a very, very positive uh, rubber grip to it. Um, the ferro rod is, uh, I've used it several times and uh, with the 90 degree uh, back on this blade, I may be strike this ferro rod and get sparks off immediately and get fires going. A diamond sharpener is also incorporated in the sheath. So if this blade happens to go dull, you have the ability right then and there 
to uh, sharpen it right there and uh, right at camp. So you don't have to wait till you get home to, to do any, uh, you know, blade sharpening or get it done. This is a four inch blade. The thickness is 3.2 millimeters. Total length of the whole entire knife is 8.5 inches long. And the weight is 228.5 grams. That's pretty much nothing in the pocket. Uh, the sheath, it has a very positive lock into the sheath. There you got the ferro rod, locks in on the side. And you have a paracord that locks back down here around the bottom. And that keeps that in there. It's not You're not going to lose that for nothing. Um, this is a dangler style sheath. So it has a belt loop that uh, you can lead, put on your belt and it would dangle on your belt. Uh, once that blade is inside the sheath, it is not coming out. I mean, it has a, with the rubber handle and the uh, construction and material of the sheath, the combination of the two gives it a nice grip so it's not gonna come out. And then with this on your belt loop as a dangler, um, it is not gonna come out and it's not gonna fall off your belt if you're running around, happen to be running or jumping over some rocks or some trees or whatever. It's not gonna come out. So it's gonna, you're gonna get a nice positive uh, uh, retention on the blade and the sheath. This is a full tang blade. Now, full tang versus a half tang or three quarter tang. You want a blade to be full tang. And the reason for it is because you get more, more power with the blade. You have metal from the tip of the blade all the way to the butt of the blade. That gives you extra strength and durability. And uh, when doing small uh, wood tasks like uh, uh, feather sticks or carving, uh, camp carving or I've seen some guys uh, have used this to carve out uh, a coffee cup in a campsite. So you got a full tang blade, which gives you a, a lot of strength and a lot of durability on the blade. So this is uh, one of my favorites that I would take with me. Uh, that's the Mora. Uh, the other blade, um, I'm not sure if a lot of you guys are familiar, but uh, Dave Canterbury and the Pathfinder School he has a shop here locally where uh, it's the PKS Pathfinder Knife uh, Shop and they develop their own blades. And let me tell you something. These blades are top notch. You, are not, you cannot go wrong with these blades. They are top of the line blades and they're handcrafted here at the shop. Um, this particular blade is the Mountaineer. It is a full tang blade with a 90 degree, uh, 90 degree spine for uh, striking ferro rods. I've had this blade for, um, when I acquired this blade, it was acquired with a military sleep system. It was a package, a guy was trying to sell it. He wanted to get rid of it. So he offered the blade and the sleep system for a, a price and uh, I grabbed it. But uh, you can get this blade on their website. Uh, this runs about a uh, good, maybe $130 on the PKS website. Uh, they have various other types of blades, but their, their slogan is stay dirty. So that's not to say that this knife is dirty. That is a satin finish on the blade. It has a, uh, this is a, let me flip my sheet here. It is a scanty, scanty grind, 11 degree scanty grind on the blade with a 90 degree uh, back for striking uh, ferro rods. You have a lifetime warranty on the blades. And uh, this is a 3 16th 1095 high carbon steel blade. Overall length is 10 inches in length. The blade length is 5.5 inches long. Uh, the finish is satin. Blade width is a 1.536 inches. 
handle is a curly maple as you can see this is not the dark one but it's a lighter color it's lighter in color uh bhbl sheath uh came said well this one came with the knife i was lucky to get that with the knife for the total cost of the knife and the sleep system but when you go on their website to order the blade you can order the, the sheath comes separately so it is best that you do do that you want to put this blade and give it a home a nice resting spot when not in use okay and uh the paracord i've added on there for more security because this blade does not lock in so this blade can slip out of the sheath but what i have done is added paracord to the handle and what i do here is i take the paracord wrap it through the belt loop come out over the top and then i punch it down over the handle and that locks that blade into the sheath now i can turn that upside down and shake it i can shake it to death and it's not coming out of there only because of the paracord that i put in there okay so let me show you that again how i got that so i had to lift that up right here and raise it up over the blood the handle come down pull it out of the sheath the belt strap and now the belt the blade will come free so I'll put that back in there take the paracord run it through here pull it out on the other side like so then run it back over the top of the handle thus locking it on and inside the sheath so you can wear this on your belt and on the back what i have incorporated here is a uh, small uh, needle sewing needle uh, for a small uh, sewing task that you might have um, jackets or pants um, or your borel uh, uh, winter jackets so this sheath at the time when i got it was a brownish color and i didn't like that too much so what i did was take some black leather dye and i dyed it black and i think that came out really really nice the black leather dye against that uh curly maple handle on the pks blade this is by far one of my best blades that i carry so at the end of this i'll give you uh my favorite blades that i would carry uh two or three blades that i would carry with me at all times and this by far is number one okay so when uh chopping trees cutting down small limbs uh preparing wood for uh fires uh i also keep a baco uh laplander this is an excellent pruning blade uh for uh cutting wood getting smaller pieces of wood um i have seen this uh blade bent completely to a 45 degree angle and the individual that bent it was able to bend it back hit it a couple of times with a hammer and uh, it brought it back stiff where it would fold back down into its handle such like that so this blade is very durable they do have replacement blades so if this blade did go dull or something catastrophic happened to the blade you can replace it there's a screw here right here on the press right there that little green button it locks the blade open and lock keeps it locked closed so you'd have to press that to close it and once it's closed i can't pull that open so there's no mistake on this blade ever popping out on you and you getting cut with this blade you have to press the safety knob knob right here and then it would open up and then it locks in i don't know if you could hear that let me fold that back and open it up press the button there open it up and it locks so this is a very very good blade very safe blade to work with the teeth are ex extraordinarily sharp um i have had no problems in cutting into wood 
um, wood is as thick as six inches in diameter and cutting right through it um, all the way down to maybe an inch uh, it has it makes small talk when cutting smaller branches I mean it slices right through it like butter like a hot knife through butter this is a very good blade to keep with you so there's your Baco Laplander this is a uh, teeth per inch is seven teeth per inch total length is 16 inches in length Weight is a 7.1 ounces. The handle is two, two, three, zero millimeters, which is nine inches long. Okay. And uh, total length is uh, 16 inches. Safety lock opens and closes it. So it's an excellent uh, folding pruning saw. So this is something I do keep with me. Uh, when I'm uh, cutting small branches. Yeah, and the only thing you don't see here on the table is the actual axe. So, but as I said, the uh, Schrade SCHF 28 uh, does the job of an axe. So, then what I have here, also here, is a hand saw that... Uh, takes the place of an electric saw, so a chainsaw. So what you have here is the blade to a chainsaw that has been constructed with a, a lanyard and uh, two handles on paracord and uh, has two handles, one on each side to hold. So what you would eventually do with this is you would go up under the piece of wood that you needed to cut and up and down motions with force being brought against the wood, you're able to guide this and cut right through like a knife cutting through butter with this saw. Trust and believe the teeth on this blade are very, very sharp. So this uh, outside of a chainsaw, uh, chainsaws would be kind of heavy and carrying a backpacking situation, I wouldn't want to carry a chainsaw. So this takes the place of a chainsaw if I had to cut wood that was much thicker than six inches in diameter. I could get it done with this in no time. The teeth on here are very, very aggressive. So there, pretty much what you do is you, you have a chainsaw blade with uh, two handles, one on each end of the blade, and uh, you're using it and you're cutting right through wood. Uh, just like that, up and down motion with the blade underneath, or if you can manage it on top of the wood, and uh, it will slice right through it. So this is no joke. These, these blades, the teeth here are very, very aggressive, very sharp. So this is something I would keep in a nice, in a nice little pouch, and I'd keep that with me for when I needed to cut wood. Like I said, anything bigger than six inches. Okay, then on my body, you know, I keep my EDC blades. So I keep a uh, Benchmade Osborne. Uh, I've had this blade for six, seven years now, and uh, it's still going strong. There's a Benchmade Osborne. Okay, line or lock. And a Leatherman Signal. Everybody needs a multi-tool in their pocket. Everyone. You should always have, everybody should always have a multi-tool in your pocket. It serves multiple purposes and does lots of jobs. Small, fine jobs. Uh, trust and believe, there are many situations that I've been in that I needed a tool and was reaching for a, a channel locks or a pair of pliers. And uh, my toolbox was in the, in the car. But what I had on me was my uh, Leatherman signal. And I just whipped that out and I took care of the task and got it done. This also has a first hem rod here on one side. And uh, this, this particular uh, blade here, you have a uh, blade on the front there, locks. Then you have a little mini saw right there. It's a little mini saw. It has a Phillips and flathead screwdriver on here. Um, this, this has, it's, it's time for a new one because this one has taken a beating. Um, 
it has taken a beating, so it's time for a new one. So I'm going to uh, look into uh, getting that. And it does lock, so when it's closed, it doesn't. I just locked it. So right there, there's a locking mechanism right here. You push up on it, and then the blade will open up just like so. You have needle nose pliers on the inside that fold out with wire cutters. Okay, just fold that back, close it, and you hit that lock, and it's not opening. It's staying closed. So that's your Leatherman signal. Excellent tool. Everyone should have one. So, here's the point in the video where I tell you which blades I would carry with me, um, no matter what, hands down. Um, on my person, like I would my firearm, I would keep these two blades on me. There'd be one in one pocket and one in the other. So I would keep uh, my pocket knife and the Leatherman signal on me. But as far as stepping out into the woods and doing anything, um, um, what I would take hands down would probably be these three blades right here, right off the top. Being so because the Schrade does the job that an ax does. So I can chop wood, process small, finer wood, do process and do finer jobs with this blade as well. Then you have my Pathfinder PKS, which is an excellent blade. This also, I can chop uh, wood as big as round as two to three inches, chop it down and get them prepared for smaller pieces of wood. And then your Lapland, your uh, Baco Laplander, I can chop, cut wood down, pruning wood and get it ready, prepared and uh, processed for fires. So these three blades here are top notch, I would say are my, the go-to blades. These are the blades that I would go and take with me at all times on a camping trip, a hiking, or even an overnight uh, stealth camping trip. These are the blades. Uh, I will give a description and uh, information on the website and where you can get these blades down in the descriptions. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, the information I presented to you, please hit the like and subscribe button down there. It helps out the channel, helps me out, lets me know that uh, I'm doing something and, uh, and you guys are enjoying it. So uh, I will give uh, uh, information on these blades down in the description, as I said, and uh, check them out. Um, you can't go wrong, not with these three, especially these three, or the moral. You can't go wrong. So even if you wanted to carry all four of these blades, you still, you can't go wrong. Um, there is a task at any campsite that any one of these blades would be able to tackle. Uh, for bigger jobs, chopping bigger pieces of wood, I would go to the Shrade. And then for smaller fine tuning jobs, I go to the Mora or my PKS. And uh, pruning down some smaller branches, I would go for the saw. So there you have it. These are my favorites. There really is no cons to these blades. I have, I have never run into anything that uh, would give me a second guess on any one of these blades. Um, there, you, like I said, I, I can't stress it enough and tell you enough. You can't go wrong with any one of these blades, uh, especially the uh, PKS from uh, the Pathfinder store. It is an excellent blade. Um, the blade goes nowhere. It goes everywhere. I go nowhere without it. And then I take my shrade. So these are the blades, primarily these three blades outside of my EDC blades here, tools here that I keep on my body. Uh, these, these are the uh, tools that I would take with me. Um, so... Till the next time and uh, in the next video, remember now is the time to prepare and always check your six. This is Sean. Thank you for joining me here on the channel and in uh, reviewing and going over these blades. Uh, if you liked what you seen and heard today, uh, hit that like and subscribe button down there. 
it helps me out and it helps the channel out. So until then, on the next video, peace and I'm out.